So the concept behind American Studies is to sync the English and history curriculums together, specifically in this case the AP history and AP English curriculums. We had found throughout the previous three years of teaching this course, or teaching our courses separately, that we were working against each other. Um, I discussed something in September and then Iken would read a book, like for example on the Salem Witch Trials or something. We discussed it in September or August and then Iken would read a book in March. And you have to reteach all this stuff I'd already gone over. And we're, we thought to ourselves, why are we working so hard? What if we sync this together? We, we realized that a lot of times I had an essay due on the same day that he would have right. a of another like terms or major assignments or he he have a test that day or something and it was we were getting less quality work out of the students because they were having major things due the same day so the other thing we tried to do was get our calendars synced up so that I wasn't assigning a lot of work right when they had to study for a test in his class and, and vice versa okay so Mr. Mullen's classes had the ability to hear everything I say with the use of microphones uh, we use wireless mics so we can move around the classroom and we're using Google as a way to video conference between the class. This is my webcam right here which is showing uh, my own class which you can see on the screen up there. And then the other thing I can do is I can show Mullen's class. And so there's... Howard. Thank you sir. So you can see his class is over there, and so the two cameras allow the classes to see, to see each other. He has had his his, his uh, computer angle kind of funky. Uh, and then so what we'll do in the course of the period is when I talk on my mic, my class hears it, and his class hears it. When he talks on his mic, my class hears it, and his class hears it. So we can have the full conversation between the two classes. So basically it's just, it, it was a collaboration between um, the classes to make it I don't want to say easier for the students, but to make it so that way they could have the the chance for the most success. Yeah, and they, they ultimately have produced better work as a result. I agree. Not being doubled up on, on homework from both of us. Uh, this class has definitely helped me grow as a student in terms of um, what how I approach every situation that I do in terms of like my essays because it's helped me grow and experiment and create like in such a different way and in terms of it helped me look at history in a way that I never thought of looking at history and that's all thanks to Mullen and I can and I appreciate that. I definitely think this class has helped me grow as a writer. I've definitely improved a lot of my writing and it's also helped me like grow analyzing like discussions and like I don't know we have to do discussion boards a lot and it definitely helps me like work with my peers. I think it's definitely helped my writing and it has helped me learn how to analyze documents and it's helped me learn to not procrastinate. The best part is that we don't have a big test in history at the same time we have a big test in English, so that's kind of nice, it's balanced out. Um, the worst parts would be that I can mull and poke fun at each other all the time, and at all of us. I definitely think the best part is like how much fun we have, like we all joke around as like classes and we compete with each other and Mullen and Iken are like always joking around with each other and it's a lot of fun. And I think the worst part is terms. So this class has definitely learned or helped me learn how to procrastinate. The best part I would say is the freedom that we have because um, in terms of essays I can really help really lets you just go out on your own and then just adventure and then just experiment in different ways and um, Mullen, in terms of history, he doesn't just like really just keep it in one specific period. He makes you make the connections in terms of the past, the present, the future, and then he just it just really helps you and grow and broaden your mind. I feel. Yes, definitely. Yes, um, I definitely think that the combo class is my favorite class um, again because we have like a ton of fun as a class and it's like the teachers are hilarious. Well, I'd rather not say, because <laughs> I'd like to live. Um, I don't think I should answer that. I think that they both are really good teachers in different ways, and so Iken's super dedicated, he's really funny, and Mullen's the same. I think that they both bring like really great aspects to the table, and it was, and I can't answer which teacher's better because they teach different subjects. So it's like me comparing Iken and Mullen's like comparing like an apple and an orange. 
So they both have really great qualities and that's all that matters to me. And it's really helpful in terms of schoolwork and all that. Ha! <laughs> oh boy. Um, this one's obvious. Well, I, I think what's interesting is that, I mean, this is gonna sound like a cop-out answer. It's me. But uh, the cop-out answer is that I think we actually really complement each other really well. So um, I, I have my curriculum organized way in advance and then Iken's really uh, able to adapt what he's doing based off of what I'm doing. Uh, what it comes down to is I'm pretty much set in what I have to cover in a chronological sequence, whereas he has a little bit more flexibility. So the, my anal retentive, I have to talk about this on this day, works really well with his, okay, well, if you're going to talk about that, I can build something with this. So we really, I mean, I know it's a cop-out answer, but we do really work well together. But yeah, he, he is very well organized, and I am as well, but I also know how to fly by the seat of my pants. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've, I've actually taught the AP class for many more years than, than Mullen yeah. has taught his. So I have a, a kind of, I have a kind of a sense of how to dial in the class, um, no matter what's going on, and so in that regard, it works together. Plus, you know, because the contents are so different, stylistically, we teach very differently. Yeah. Matt has to lecture a lot, um, whereas I don't. I can do a lot more activities, a lot more interactive things, because of the nature of teaching English, as opposed to Matt, who has to provide straight history to the kids. Right. Water balloon fight. The water balloon <laughs> fight at the end of the year, I think, is, <laughs> is, the, best is the best part. but. It, I mean, that's, that is the obvious answer. That is, that is by far one of the craziest lesson plans I've ever developed in my life. Um, so that's, that is a lot of fun to do. But I think at the same time... Um, burritos? The burritos are good, yes. Yeah. But I think actually, to give the more actual teaching-based answer, it's nice to actually see the students get it. Like, when the school year starts, they realize that it's a lot of work, and they realize it's a lot of, a lot of writing and a lot of um, different thought processes than they've done before. But then, towards the end of the second semester, when they're preparing for the AP exam, they're like, oh yeah, I got this. Oh yeah, I got that. Oh, I know these documents. They're, they just, they're so much better prepared, and they feel so much more confident as students. So it's really seeing the growth of the students um, even though it's a, even though it's a slog, even though it's like a it's like a dog fight the whole way, seeing their progression at the end is really, really encouraging every year. You know the, the moment is um, this, there's an essay that I that I assign in December. It's the the Great Wealth essay based on Andrew Carnegie's work, and that essay I think is is the essay where across the board with all the AP kids they they got it it clicked. And they were able to take the historical context from which Carnegie's writing, apply it to an understanding of Carnegie, the author, and then write about how Carnegie is building what he wrote. And that, that's, I think, when everything really hit for them. They, they really came together, more so than any other assignment this year. That's part of the year when I can propose to Mullen, definitely. When we had to sing I Love You Baby, and he walked in, like, you know, being like that stallion figure and then the going on one knee and then Mullen turning red in the face and then him blushing and it was it was it was fun I, that would that would be like the highlight by far I think that the best part of the year was either when Iken gave us donuts or <laughs> when <laughs> or when Mr. Mullen had us reenact um, World War One and we got to throw papers at each other. I, I'd say the highlight was probably going to the AP test, uh, the AP English test, while singing John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. That was pretty good. So I started doing this years ago, that when my kids would march off to the AP test, they would be a cohesive unit. And part of it is because I've, I've always tried to teach my classes in a way that makes the kids in my room make them special and unique. 
and especially, you know, teaching English. There's a lot of other English teachers on campus. He's the only guy that teaches AP US history. Right. They are a unit because he's the only one. But in my world, there's a lot of us who teach English. And so building building a class into a cohesive unit is really important to me. And having them walk across the quad singing a song, it's not always been uh, John Jacob, it's been other songs in the past. But the idea of having them walk across the quad singing a song together really shows this, this sense of unity for them as they head into the AP test. And it puts them in a really good mood. It's, it's fun, it's, it's uplifting. Uh, they walk in, into the gym and they're all just pumped up from singing across the quad and they, that translates into what they're going to do on that AP test. So It kind of has dual purposes, bringing them together but also raising morale, walking in the door. I don't know. Um, right now, we're, we're getting the model locked in. We probably will make some changes, you know, every year for the next couple of years as we tweak things here and there. His class has changed with the College Board. The entire the entire structure of APOS history is changing. I imagine in the next few years, the College Board will, will look at my AP class, the English side, as well and make changes. But there's also changes happening on campus that will affect what we do. The, the push to Common Core at some point will likely allow for the entire history department and the entire English department to collaborate with, with material the way that we are. Uh, and so we don't know what that's going to do with regards to our, our situation. The other thing we have is we're, we're constantly fighting every year for uh, scheduling time. This class is a very difficult class to schedule uh, with, within, within the school's um, you know, set of classes because getting two periods blocked where all the kids are in these two classes is really difficult to do. So sometimes the, I think the future for those class becomes very uncertain for us. Uh, another reason why we made this class was because of Common Core. Yeah. So yeah, Common right. Core, uh, the basic premise of that is that the class, every class you take should kind of work together. You should be writing sentences in math. You should be adding years together in history. I don't know. But uh, the, the, the logic of it <laughs> well is, yeah, the logic of it is that um, your classes you're not just taking a history class, you could put history in another classroom, you could put English in another classroom, and math and science in other classrooms. So that's what's ex expected across the board in high school. The premise of what we wanted to do was to basically kind of pilot what Common Core wanted the entire campus to do. Mm -hmm. So we can kind of troubleshoot with the best kids on campus, the AP students, troubleshoot what worked and what doesn't, that way when the rest of the school is required to do it by the state, we could say, okay guys, look, this is what the state says you should do, but this might be a better way of doing it because we did it for a year or two. We saw what worked and saw what didn't. So we kind of did this as a way of piloting what the state's going to mandate for pretty much every every high school. Absolutely. If you want to be a better writer, if you want to um, be more broadened in terms of your mental process and how you approach situations, if you want to just have a fun time with your friends. It's really, it has something for everybody and that's one trait that many classes on campus don't have. So I would definitely recommend it. Absolutely, take it.